Good afternoon and welcome to the 2020 commencement ceremony for the Feliciano School of Business at Montclair State University. For safety, we ask that you please wear face coverings at all times. Stay tent six feet, excuse me, away from those not in your group and follow instructions from our event staff. Please remain in your places until the conclusion of our brief ceremony. When the ceremony is over, our event staff will release you by sections in order to ensure social distancing. So please follow their instructions. We want you to enjoy this experience. So we also ask you to please silence all electronic devices. And now, Will you please welcome the class of 2020 graduates from the Feliciano School of Business. Graduates, please rise as the academic processional will now begin. Ladies and gentlemen, 
we present the President of Montclair State University, the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, the Dean of the Feliciano School of Business, and University Distinguished Faculty and Staff. Welcome. Please be seated. I'm Dr. Kimberly Hollister, Dean of the Feliciano School of Business. It is my great pleasure to welcome to the podium the President of Montclair State University, Dr. Susan A. Cole. Welcome. Welcome, graduates, guests, faculty, staff, to the 2020 undergraduate commencement exercises for the Feliciano School of Business at Montclair State University. Please rise for the national anthem, which is sung on a recording from last year's commencement 2019, uh, and Lise Belke's Santana, sang it then, a Montclair State su student. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the see you uh, in person here today. 
We promised we would celebrate your achievements as soon as the governor said it was safe enough to gather in person, and here we are. We are so thankful that New Jerseyans have bent that COVID-19 curve low enough to enable us to begin to reopen our state and to allow us this day together. These past several months have been a very difficult time for you and for us. We have marveled at your tenacity and resilience in the face of adversity, and we are proud of all that you have accomplished in your time at Montclair State University, including this last semester when you did not let the pandemic keep you from reaching your goal. All told, in its remarkable 112 years, Montclair State has granted 162,754 degrees, starting with the 45 students in the very first graduating class. This year, the university's graduates number 4,380 and you along with students in 22 other small ceremonies like this one, are among that number. Excuse me, I haven't got this mask thing down yet. <laughs> As we gather for this most unusual commencement ceremony, we are buoyed by the bountiful energy and potential of the graduates whose achievements will be marked by the conferral of their degrees. As events of the last few months have shown, you are entering a world that has many important economic, social, environmental, governmental, and public health issues in urgent need of attention. And today, you join the next class of citizens prepared by your education to make a meaningful contribution to the hard work it takes to build a peaceful, prosperous, equitable, and just society. The education you have acquired has been in part to enable you to become the person you want to be in this world, but that's only part. Its purpose has also been to enable you to become the kind of citizen that our nation and the world needs. At the end of this ceremony, we will send all of you out into the world with great confidence that your education at Montclair State has prepared you to tackle the challenges of the years to come with intelligence, optimism, and integrity. As you pursue further study and your careers in chosen fields, we will look forward to witnessing how you will make your mark. The role of public universities such as Montclair State is critical to sustaining a free and democratic society for to be a responsible and contributing citizen in a democracy takes preparation and it takes education. And many people have worked hard to make the privilege of education possible for you, including your family who are here today, your faculty and advisors at the university, your friends who are all so proud of you, and many people who you will never know, your fellow citizens, whose taxes help support your education, and generous alumni and donors who shared what they had to support scholarships and to make educational resources available to the university for you. And now it's up to you, and you must let nothing stand between you and your future. Have courage, really, today, Everybody needs it. Have courage and never give up on yourself. At this moment, I would like us to take time to remember together some of your fellow students whose lives were cut short 
and who will never have the chance to stand where you stand today. Jose Fernandez, Pierre Puente de la Vega, Coran Gwaltney, Juliana Lee Kessler, Griffin Klaus, Christian Niles, Michaela Powell, and Jeremy Thompson. It's also important to acknowledge and send our collective best wishes to 16 of your fellow students who were called away from their studies and their families this year to serve on the front lines in the National Guard's COVID-19 response, serving at hospitals, nursing homes, testing centers, and helping to build field hospitals. They are Derek Alicorn, Edith Argueta, Melissa Castelli, Marcos de Leon, Mercedes Flores, Daniel Herrera, Alex Gennaro, Christopher Langill, Lucian Lloyd, Nolan Muganda, Alicia Pierre, Nicholas Ritter, Anthony Steiner, James Suarez, Diego Tanaka, and Victoria Vallejo. We thank those fellow Red Hawks for their service to the nation. We hope they are back at the university safe soon. Class of 2020, you have been called the class of COVID. But as I have said before, you are not the virus. You are the cure. You are the cure. Now more than ever, the world needs bright, committed, well-prepared people who can take on the immense challenges we are facing. Your education at Montclair State has prepared you for this moment. I've watched you with pride this year and have seen that you have not been brought down by this crisis. To the contrary, you have been strengthened by it. You have been toughened by it. And you are readier than ever to go out and make your way in the world and to fulfill your hopes and dreams. Meanwhile, in this remarkable moment in time, one thing is certain, the class of 2020 will never be forgotten. At this time, I really want to acknowledge the staff who have volunteered here today as ushers and greeters and coordinators. They are all over the place. You see folks in red t-shirts, folks on this stage and all around who have enabled us to do this event safely. We could not have done it without them. And now I'd like to turn the ceremony over to Dean Hollister, uh, and she will proceed. Good afternoon. As the Dean, allow me to be one of the first to salute you for all of your accomplishments to this date. This is also a day to recognize and celebrate those individuals who have supported you and encouraged you through your years of effort and commitment. Your class, the class of 2020, has a unique story to tell about the circumstances leading up to your graduation. We are facing significant challenges. The world you expected to enter upon graduation has changed in ways that we could have never imagined or adequately prepared for. It is important that we acknowledge and encourage your resilience, optimism, and grit. As has been the case this year, the way in which you respond to circumstance will be more defining and more important than the circumstance itself. Your perseverance and forward momentum will continue to serve you well. 
As you have undoubtedly learned, life brings both opportunities and obstacles. Pursue the opportunities and be persistent and patient in learning from and getting past the obstacles. When faced with a problem you cannot control, it's critical to identify and focus your energy on changing and improving the things that you can. As many of us have turned inward, focusing on ourselves, our families, it's also important to look for opportunities to serve the greater good. Sometimes we can be our own worst enemies. Instead, we should try to be our own positive coaches, energizing ourselves as well as those around us. Listen, actively listen to the people around you. Try to see the world from their point of view, but don't be afraid to be your own person and stand up for what you believe in. As you move forward, you must continue to develop your circle of influence. Feed your inner spirit with friends and mentors who lift you up. Work to motivate those around you and vice versa. As you choose your next steps, launching your career or continuing your education, it's important to remember that you will chart your course. Career paths are typically not straight lines and don't need to last forever. Your interests and skills will continue to evolve. The marketplace will evolve. Be open to change and don't be afraid to try something new or to take a risk. One more thing, don't forget to laugh. The world can be cruel and that's no excuse for not seeing the humor in our lives and the craziness of the human condition. Laughter is contagious. When you hear laughter, you know that someone has made the choice to let go and be happy, even for just a moment. In challenging times, laughter can be courage in itself. Spread laughter wisely, openly, and generously. Use it to celebrate life and the very joy of living. You are our future, and we are counting on you. I'm now pleased to welcome to the podium Dr. Yahweh, Dr. Warren Zhao, representing the Faculty of Management and Entrepreneurship. Dear graduates, families, and friends, in these unusual times, it's a personal privilege for me to stand here on behalf of the management and entrepreneurship faculty and offer my congratulations upon your graduation from Meng Klai State University. On behalf of the entire department of faculty, please know that our hope is that your Meng Klai education will provide the foundation for a lifetime of learning, success, and fulfillment. While we all can wish for a return to what we could consider normal times, my message to you today is to encourage you to embrace the current re realities, harsh as they are, and encourage you to dream big and go after your dreams. Your education combined with very special attributes of the Feliciano School of Business students will serve you well from this day forward. Bring your energy, resilience, and ambition to everything that you do. When combined with integrity and a genuine and deep respect for all people, a world of possibilities will open to you. Be courageous, be a leader, follow your dreams, and maybe most important, keep your sense of humor alive and vibrant. As you move forward, please know that our door will always be open to you as building and maintaining relationships with alumni is vitally important and helpful to all. In these days of Zoom, we actually find it easier to stay connected and look forward to doing so. I wish you success and fulfillment in the years ahead, and may all your dreams come true. Thank you.
Thank you, Professor Zhao. I now call on Provost Willard Gingrich as we begin the conferment of degrees. Good afternoon. President Cole, it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates here assembled who have successfully completed the curricula offered by the Feliciano School of Business of Montclair State University have been so certified by the university registrar, and they are recommended by the faculty to be awarded bachelor's degrees in recognition of their academic accomplishments. I would also note that a number of these graduates have completed their certifications to teach. You will notice that some of our students have gold tassels on their mortarboards, signifying that they are graduating cum laude with honors, magna cum laude with high honors, and summa cum laude with the highest honors. Will those undergraduates who are graduating with honors and the families of those undergraduates graduating with honors please rise. Your family, friends, and fellow students, join me in applauding your success. Thank you. You may be seated. President Cole, it now gives me great pleasure to introduce the members of the May 2020 graduating class. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree please come forward to receive your individual acknowledgment? While you wait to cross the stage, please keep at least six feet of distance between you and those around you and slide your name card through the slot in the plexiglass barrier to our reader. For health and safety reasons, we cannot shake hands this year, but we applaud your achievements. Nelly Heroes, Felix M. Ventura, Jack Rizzo, Daniel Vargas, Michelle Berman. Dana Marie De Castro, Elizabeth Ashley Pace, Athnan Cater, Brittany Shade Gomez, Ruby Luciano. Jasmine Ariel Bonaparte. Denise Paula Vidalva. Eduardo Jose Gavilanes. Karima Phillip. Jenny Rodriguez. Destiny Rose Feltwater. Avni Patel. Ismothara Amili. Hadis Kayes Chowdhury. Alvaro Lagardo 
Pastor. Cesar Mija. Evelyn Sevenyear. Abdul Karim El Sama. Eric Daniel Santana. Latifa Aqua. Yasser Sewell. Karis Logan McClellan. Marissa Rose Denigris. Joseph Edward Bacho. Alana Marie Clemente. Ashley Nicole Paramillo. Alyssa Mary Noten. Leslie Leon Patino. Laura Pearl Kari. Joseph Ferrara. Hadil M. Altamimi. Alicia Michelle Jimenez. Ruby Lopez. Kyrie Crawford. Stephen Prince. Alexis Maria Rodriguez. Tiana Scholers. David Zakmir Fields. <laughs> Samantha M. Agrant. <laughs> Natili Bork Bork. <laughs> Samantha Rose Contreras. Lisbeth Uyoa. Stephen Gomez. Jennifer Elizabeth Sarate. Nate Naherney. Laborio Charles Tamborello. David Antonio Ramos. Geraldine Rivas. Sandra Gabriella. Noika <laughs> Melissa Rodriguez Acamendia <laughs> Alexi <laughs> Ivazis <laughs> Jonathan <laughs> Martin <laughs> Gabe 
Joshua Garcia. Brian Jason Efres. Christopher J. Kayami. John Anthony Inglaze Jr. Danielle Caranello. Solange Victoria Jimenez Sandoval. Peter Nicholas Kessler. Tiani Rael Robb. Katrina Michella Zanfabron. Genesis Mendez. Jorge Mario Carr. Brian Kelly. Miranda A. George. Mick Johannes Petrus Van Houston. Mario Cesar Umansor. Tiffany Shade Thompson. David Andrew McDougall. Gabriella Marie Longo. Gabrielle Mixon. Olivia Rose DeMiro. Shane Stucker. Mustafa Abdus Sabor. Brian Bosire Manis. Destiny Diamond Odom. Johnny Wolf. Ryan Jean Granato. Brianna Michelle Drakeford. Caitlin Ann Nolte. Victoria Marie Rodden. George Nemi. Michael Alexander Valido. Carolyn Tenio. Eva Maria Rios. Rodrigo Estevez Campos. Allison K. Jacques. John Francois Dubois. Ricardo Garcia Rodriguez. Will all the candidates for the bachelor's degree please rise? Will the families of the bachelor's candidates please rise with your graduates? President Cole, I am pleased to present the candidates who have qualified for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. Thank you, Dean Hollister. 
Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of New Jersey and the Board of Trustees of Montclair State University, and in recognition of your achievement in fulfilling the curricula prescribed, I confer upon you as earned the designated bachelor's degree with all the rights, duties, privileges, and immunities thereunto appertaining, of which the diploma is the written witness. Congratulations, graduates. will join me, please, in the undergraduate tassel ceremony. When Provost Gingrich single signals with the mace, you will move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your mortarboard. Ready? And there you go. I am pleased to present the graduates of the class of 2020. Congratulations. And thank you, graduates, for not throwing your mortarboards in the air for safety reasons this year. Um, please be seated. This concludes the Montclair State University commencement exercises for the Feliciano School of Business. I would ask everyone to remain seated until the recessional is complete. Graduates, when it's time for you to recess, please remember to stay six feet apart and follow all staff instructions as you exit Sprague Field. To our guests, thank you so much for coming and being here with us today. We are really delighted to see you. For your safety, guests, please wait until our event staff releases you section by section. Everybody stay well, stay safe, and congratulations. <laughs>